Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about the next update which will be arriving this week and we'll get into that information as well. We are also going to be discussing some new bugs that just popped up in the latest patch as well as we will be going over some information about the developers talking about certain things that they do plan on fixing. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's begin by talking about the update because as you all know, we just recently received some information by the Power World developers talking about the new pal named Bella Noir. And if you guys did not watch my previous video, there is going to be two different versions of this pal. So there most likely will be the boss version, right? The raid version. Then the second version is going to be called Bella Noir Lebrel. This second version was discovered through the achievements because I took a look at it and found out that there were two to secret achievements and you can actually click on them to reveal what the description is for example right here you can see the two achievements now I did go over this information previously but just recently over at steam DB the files have updated once more if we head over towards steam DB we can check out the packages and the depots and all that so with that being said let's go down and check out the branches what we can see right here on the left side is main underscore development main underscore shipping and experimental on the right side, you can see that it has been updated 15 hours ago, 17 hours ago, and 10 hours ago. Then if you go underneath experimental, you should see private underscore shipping and private underscore development. These two files have been updated recently, and how recent? Yesterday. Now that you know this information, what does this exactly mean? If you take a look at the private underscore shipping, so when you see something like that, this typically means that an update will arrive either that week or the following next. This is what I have noticed in the past from previously looking at these branches, but please note that this is basically speculation still because there could be some sort of issues that pop up during the testing and this might result in them fixing some more things. So the update could arrive next week as well. Alrighty, continuing along here, we're going to talk about some of the issues in Power World. For example, there was the fixed passive breeding bug, and some of you over on the official Power World Discord were wondering whether or not this has been fixed. If you take a look on the screen here, there is a user named Jabs, and this is what he had to say. Is the fixed passive breeding bug back? Question mark. The answer to that is no. For those wondering, it's absolutely not back but there is some good news if you did miss out on this previously. What you're going to notice on the clip here is that there's an image. This image right here is about patch 0.1.5.0. This is back when Bucky was talking about some issues with the game and the monitoring stand and all that, but if you take a look at this down below, it says that there is an issue where pals created through breeding retain their passives. We plan to roll back this change as soon as possible. This problem right here popped up recently in 0.1.5.0 zero patch now we are currently on update 0.1.5.1 and we have yet to receive an update or a fix i do believe there is some good news even though there has yet to be a fix for this because i believe the next patch is definitely going to contain that fix for that specific issue moving along here we're going to check out a post by a network developer over on the official power world discord this right here is chuho hiroto network developer and this is what he had to say we have identified the cause of the issue where Archon does not activate from the INI file. We will fix it as soon as possible. If you were experiencing some issues in the past previously, then this right here should be resolved in the next update. I truly believe this next one is going to be chunky. It's going to contain a lot of issues that are going to be fixed and on top of that we're also going to have that raid which is pretty interesting. Next up we have an interesting question by a user named JLD over at the official Power World Discord and this is what this user had to say. Do you believe that by fighting the cheaters the random wipes will stop? And if so, how often would you need to wipe the servers anyways in the EA phase of the game? Which EA is early access. And Shuho responds with it's a difficult situation, but there are some official servers that must be partially wiped due to them being messed up by cheaters. And for those that have just stuck with single player and have yet to mess with multiplayer, what would happen is that you could easily get wiped. And I mean wiped meaning your level would go back to one. Pretty much all the hard work that you had put into it is just 
gone instantly from these cheaters. Not only that, but there are some other issues going along, such as some cheaters could actually ban players in game. And I did make a video about this, so if you would like to check it out, let me know down below and I will give you a link. Anyways, with that information to the side, there's also issues where some players are cheating and they can one shot you as well. So, yeah, as you can tell, there are a variety of different issues when it comes down to cheating, and that is why a good portion of the servers have been completely wiped or deleted essentially and this right here is what's going on as of late now chuho did mention something about two weeks ago this user right here says thank you for your responses the time limit of inactivity is 168 hours or official servers where characters cannot log in because of timeout issues and the time limit is exceeded would this mean the character is deleted as a result chuho responds with actually we have temporarily stopped the base timer on the official servers however we are aware that the situation continues to be disrupted by cheaters we are also working on measures to address this issue and as you can tell right there yeah as of late things have been just hectic with cheating online and so they had to wipe a lot of the servers and they are looking into you know fixing a lot of these issues one would imagine or hope that there is a fix for this in the next patch so we all can get back on the servers and do what we want to do and that is to shoot a bunch of pals and capture them okay last but not least we are going to talk about some more bugs in power world and hopefully they will resolve these issues for example if you take a look at the top here there is a username mr jabroni and this is what he had to say so this is making the game basically unplayable and if you take a look at the middle here, there is a bunch of pals that are kind of merged in between each other or clipped into each other. This right here can happen and you're going to see exactly what's going on. This user continues on by saying, the pals at my base keep getting stuck together in a clump and just freeze. It's so annoying. I've taken them in and out of the box a million times. This was my favorite game of all time. But this bug is so annoying. Does anyone know how to fix this? And no, there's no fix for this as far as I'm aware. But this is a constant issue going around as of late. I'm not too sure if it popped up in the recent patch, but I believe it has been around for at least two patches. If you have been experiencing the same exact bug here, please let me know down below in the comments. And let's go ahead and have a great conversation about it because I am genuinely interested on what bugs you have been experiencing as of late. This image right here is by a user named Lee Lada Vida. And this is what the user had to say. Anything I try to hit with a lock on target on Univolt, Insta ports me to my home base across the map. It used to work right about a week ago, different server. Right there when this user said different server, it worked about a week ago. I 100% believe this is due to server related issues. I have tried to do this on single player and I cannot teleport myself one bit. This has been going around for quite some time, but if you have experienced this bug specifically, let me know down below. And the last bug on the list here that I would like to bring up and talk about is the transportation skill if you take a look at this user right here named canis the man this is what he had to say pals with transportation skill get stuck at base spawn point then if we go down below you should see this right here which says in my main base my pal gets stuck at the spawn point next to the pal box they stand in place sometimes reset by falling from the sky on the same spawn point but don't do anything otherwise they starve and get sick this right here sounds pretty similar to the other issue that we just went over so i'm not too sure if they're both connected but i thought i would go over this one because it's definitely important there was another user who responded with this seems to happen to me when a particular item they want to pick up is inaccessible or bugged or confusing them somehow Usually, if a transporter is behaving erratically, I just do a loop around the base and pick up everything myself. Once I find the object of their concern, they seem to snap out of it and go about their business. So if you are experiencing some issues with that bug specifically, maybe you should go around and try to pick up the objects and see if that resolves the issue. Now note that it is well worth checking underneath the map because potentially the loot could fall underneath and then you're screwed. So you might need to clip underneath the map pick up the items and then you won't be screwed so try that out and see if it helps so this is pretty much it when it comes down to the issues and bugs if you guys would like to join bucky and the rest of the pal developers over at gdc they are there right now and if you take a look at this post right here bucky says i thought i was being clever by leaving the surname box blank but it seems i'm bucky x now and so there you go everyone seems to be over at gdc right now well some of the developers 
talk to them, give them a high five or something. I don't know why I said give them a high five. I don't know. Give them a pat on the butt. Don't do that either. Just give them a good old hug and say thank you for, you know, just developing a amazing game. I was going to say some words I couldn't use. Anyways, this is the end of the video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Ask away. If you have not subscribed, subscribe now. Turn on those notifications. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. All that good stuff. With all that being said, thank you once more, and I'll see you all in the next video.